Tip tag, left fielder number 19, oh, Jennifer Wood. Matthew home plate camera, Jordan Broadcast Center. Are you going to do third this game? You might split loving the. The Riptide and the Senators today, as we welcome you in, U-Triple-S-A ESPN Rise Games. Usually have a better shot of home plate, but somebody's meandering with a joystick downstairs from the ESPN Broadcast Center, so we'll get that squared away. Go to pitch. Outside, it's two and one. Jennifer Wood is the leadoff hitter. Beautiful afternoon here from Disney. The pitch on the ground, back to the pitcher. She'll toss it over to first, and there's one out. Eighteen catcher Bethany Baylor. So Wood retired, and here's Bethany Baylor, the catcher. Expect that they'll flip this RoboCam downstairs shortly. Here's the one one. On the ground to short, and they'll toss it across the diamond, and there's quickly two away. Third base with number six, Heather Vasquez. And that brings up Heather Vasquez. Here's Vasquez. On the ground is a base hit. And that's the first runner of the ball game. Number 24, AP, Caitlin Lawrence. The runner on first, and here's Caitlin Lawrence. Lawrence swings and misses. Check out the defense of Dell and left, hose and center. Peterson in right, Brown at third, Taylor short, Jackson at first, and Hall is behind home plate. It's 0 and 2. 
with a runner on first and two away. Got our swing and there's a strikeout. And that retires the side. We head to the bottom of the first. The Senators come into the plate for the first time in this ball game. Jessica Mendoza from Camarillo, California. I went to Stanford University, go card. And I play left field for the youth, we'll say Florida Pride. Louisville Slugger to me means tradition. It has been a company that's been around for a long time and growing up I swung Louisville Slugger. It's something that I believed in, I was a part of. My very first bat was a Dot Richardson Louisville Slugger bat and it meant a lot to me to have that player association with a company like Louisville Slugger. I'm so excited about my new Xeno Pride bat. First of all, anytime you have your name on a bat, and this is a dream come true, but the fact is, is it says Pride. It's the team I play for, it's the team I represent and I'm so proud of. And so when I'm out there swinging this bat, little kids can come to the games and they can now buy the same bat that I'm swinging. And knowing this is limited edition, there's only a few out there, and it's something that represents not only my name, but the team I play for. And the bonus is that you get all the benefits of the Xeno technology in the same bat. You can find my Mendoza Pride Xeno bat at sluggerdeals.com. Bouncing ball foul. Abdel will lead things off here in the bottom of the first. The Senators. This one hit to third. And Vasquez will toss it across the diamond to first for out number one. Right field and Abby Peterson. And that'll bring up Abby Peterson. And Peterson into left field and almost nearly on a line. And good enough for out number two. 13 catcher Emily Hall. As the catcher Emily Hall now comes to the plate with two away. There's a base hit in the left field. Hey. 
Number five center fielder, Kendra Hose. That brings up Kendra Hose. With two out and a runner on. but they're going to count the, count the run and the runner is safe at third. That's a double whammy for the Riptide. To left an RBI single to make it two to nothing. That was Leah Taylor with the base hit. Now batting number four, third baseman Kim Brown. So Taylor aboard with a single, and here's Brown. Dugout. One ball and two strikes. Popped up into center. Worthen makes the catch, and that retires the side. Two come in for the Senators. In the bottom of the first, the Riptide will come to the plate down by two runs in the second after this. Haber, I'm from Newark, California. I play for the new Triple A Cry. I've always swung the Louisville Slugger, even when I was in high school and before. I just never found a reason to not swing it. It's got great quality. I know what I'm getting with that bat, and I know that there's a rich history of quality bats, and so I've never wanted to swing anything else. I really like swinging the Zeno bat. It's got a large sweet spot. It's ready right out of the wrapper, no break-in period. And for me as a hitter, I feel so confident when I step into the box with the Zeno in my hands because I know it's going to get the job done. In a league like the NPF, you're facing the best pitchers every day of the week, and so um, it helps to have that little extra bit of confidence knowing you're swinging a, a good bat that's going to do good work for you. And so I feel way more confident stepping into the box with a Louisville Slugger bat. Intimidate at the plate with Louisville Slugger TPS. the top of the second and the pitcher Morgan Johnson will lead things off defense for the Washington Senators we'll get to in a moment Senators scoring two runs in the bottom of the first on three hits the Riptide have just a hit so far in this ball game the count 2-0 to Johnson, the pitcher. Oh, 
inside corner, there's a straight cold, and it's three and one. Bouncing ball to Vasquez. Excuse me, bouncing ball to Brown across the diamond. And it's one away. Right fielder number nine, Mary Monty. And here's Monty, the right fielder. Swing and a miss, that evens the count of one and one. This is 16A game. strikes but that gets away from the catcher and Hall can't make the throw to first in time so Monty's going to reach on a drop third strike 31 center fielder Lauren Wortham that brings up uh, Wortham Helicopters over top here at Disney. Full standing so far. Washington Senators 1 0. Man, the Case Batbusters atop of this 18 and under A classification. New Jersey Thunder leads Pool B. KC Freeze and Extreme Elite. Pool C. The Braves and the Vengeance. Pool D. They're both 1 0. The Warriors, 93. They played three games already. They're 2 0 and 1, leading Pool E. And the Ultimate Golden, the Topeka Flames, 1 0. And Pool F. First baseman number two, Cameron Law. Back to the pitcher, they'll toss to first. And that retires the side.
I love this glove. I mean, first of all, hands down, you want to make sure you have the best glove because as an outfielder, I got to be making like game-saving catches, diving catches. I mean, outfield is where it's at, okay? So, I mean, obviously you want to have the best glove, but looks play an important part too. And I love the design. I love that I can see the ball through the web. And I also love that it looks pretty cool. A lot of little girls out there are going to be like, I want that glove. We are Louisville Slugger. Taylor will lead things off. One and two with nobody out. Senators leading two to nothing. Taylor at the plate. Got under it, fouled it back. In the left field, there's the base hit for Taylor. AP number 25, Gray 7. That brings up Evans.
First baseman, 19, Tiffany Jackson. So Evans retired and Jackson now at the plate. Bunning down the line and it's off the foot of Bauer, the second baseman. And there's two on and one out. Pitcher number two, Jenna Dunn. That'll bring the pitcher Dunn to the plate with Lewis, the extra hitter. Go up afterwards. Strike called, it evens the count at one and one. Down on strikes is two away. Thirty-one AP Juliet Lewis. That'll bring up Lewis. The extra hitter. He's the final hitter in this Washington lineup before we go back to the top of the lineup. Two on, two out, and the score 2-0. With a good block, and they move up now to second and third. There's a strike called. Even in the count of two and two. Strike out to retire the side, and the Senators strand two there in the second. They still lead by two as we go to the third. DC Senators on top. Danielle Laurie, pitcher, University of Washington. My favorite song is James Taylor, You've Got a Friend. Ooh, my favorite cereal is probably Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because my mom would never let me have them. So now that I'm not living in the house, I can eat them whenever I want. <laughs> if I could be an animal, I would be a finger monkey because they are the cutest little things. Google it. <laughs> they are so cute, I swear. Google them. They can fit them right on your finger. My favorite dessert would probably be a big, big piece of chocolate cake with a lot of icing and just, just a big piece. If I could have one superpower, I would probably want to, oh, that's tough, fly or be invisible. I'd probably flip a coin to see which one. My favorite board game is Operation. So fun, scares me every time. <laughs> favorite Disney character is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Kilpatrick will lead things off as we begin action here in the top of the third. First 
first pitch is strike called. Kirkpatrick, Hartman, and Bauer do up here in this half inning. As the Riptide look to come back from down two runs. Down on strikes, round number one. AP number eight, Aaron Hartman. Second baseman Meredith Bauer. There's Bauer. Swing and a miss, and there's two away. Top of the order, 19, Jennifer Wood. So we're back at the top of the lineup in Wood. Wood hits it on the ground, Brown over to first, and that is the inning. Another opportunity wasted for the Georgia Riptide. They leave a runner stranded. We head to the bottom of the third, two to nothing. Senators on top. I'm Lauren Lappin, catcher and infielder. I went to Stanford University. My favorite candy are Twizzlers Nibs. If I could choose a magazine cover to be on, I would choose Women's Health because I love the articles that they have, not only on fitness and workouts, but on eating well and being active and being a woman today. I have a couple favorite websites. I frequent GoStanford.com because it's always going to have a special place in my heart, as well as UTSAPride.com and ESPN.com to get all my updates on what's going on in the sports field. This isn't really a bad habit, but I do it so frequently that it's pretty much a habit. It's more of a weakness, but I cannot resist chips and salsa. <laughs> the strangest thing I've ever eaten was in Japan, and I took a big bite of a fish head. If I, could have, if I had one superpower, it would be to not ever need one hour of sleep.
number 23, Jay Abel. On the mound, 24, Caitlin Lawrence. Base hit to start off the inning for Johnny Number eight, Abby Peterson. That'll bring up Peterson, the right fielder. Just a great day of fast pitch for you, you Triple S A ESPN Rise Games. We're glad you decided to spend some time with us here on our broadcast. Second. After the pass ball. In a 2 0 count to Abby Peterson, the right fielder, who's 0 for 1. She flew out to left her first time at the plate. Strike called, it's two and two. Is it three two? Fifth hit into left field that falls as a base hit. And there's runners on first and second now. And nobody out. So the Washington Senators. 13, Emily Hall. Trying to make their move here. And as Emily Hall comes to the plate. Foul back. <laughs> Off the glove of the catcher, another pass ball. <laughs> Runners advance. And it's three and one. In the center, there's a base hit. And it'll score a run on an RBI single. at the plate. Oh, 
Bruce takes a cold strike. It's three to nothing. Still nobody out. Down swing with a strikeout. Number nine, Ian Taylor. That'll bring to the plate the release of Taylor. Two in scoring position, one out. That gets the members bounce if you're the pitcher, Johnson. Two and one. Count away, it's two and two. Peterson will tag and she'll score, and it's four to nothing. And a sacrifice fly. Number seven, Kim Brown. Two away. Four to nothing, and here is Brown now. Here's a 2-0. Swing and a miss, it's two and one. It's away from the catcher, Ballard. And that's going to score the fifth run of the ball game. And the bases are empty. <laughs> and a walk issued. Taylor. 
Bradford brings to the plate Riel Taylor. <laughs> Two outs, five to nothing. Our score here in the bottom of the third. Popped up. And good ground down out in left field. Wood comes in to make the play. And retire the side. Three runs, three hits, one left. We head to the fourth, five nothing. Senators on top. Bethany Ballard. Now batting number six, Heather Vasquez. Bethany Ballard grounds out for round number one. That brings up Heather Vasquez. Two and one. Ball's going to go to the fence, and there's a double for Heather Vasquez. One strike, one out. Runner on second. 
hit very slow and it checked up like a sand wedge. But the runners can advance to third. And that's going to be at number two. And the Riptide again in danger of going scoreless here in the second. 41, second. Morgan Jackson. Morgan Johnson now, your hitter. Good toss over, Taylor to Jackson. And the Riptide strand, another opportunity. Hi, my name is Ashley Charters. I'm from Beaverton, Oregon. I went to the University of Washington and I currently play for the USSA Pride. I chose Louisville Slugger um, because the performance of the bat is amazing. The, the sweet spot of the bat is much larger. It's well balanced, especially uh, being a slapper and a hitter. I like to have that, that balanced feel in the bat and I feel like I have more confidence swinging Louisville Slugger than any other bat. My favorite part about using the Xeno bat is probably the sweet spot. It's, it's, it's a big sweet spot, uh, balanced, and it just it feels good. It feels good all the way through the zone. It's a little bit different, um, but I know that if it does sound like that, it's working. Um, it does take some getting used to, but you know that it's a Zeno bat when you hear that. Zeno, hear the difference, feel the power. Leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Senators, number 25, Grace Evans. Grace Evans wants to start off the inning for the Senators here in the fourth, trying to add to their 5 0 lead. So Grace Evans is going to take a strike and it's one on one.
Evans is 0 for 1. She flew out to center her first time up out to Hose. So she's going to ground a brown. And it'll be thrown over. And there's one away. Vasquez to law, excuse me. Page hasn't flipped over yet. Now betting number 24, Charmaine Odin. So one away. Senators up by five. This one's off the wall. But the throw comes in. She didn't slide at second. And I'm not sure how they didn't tag her. Maybe she was worried because there is no dirt out by second. Take another look at this. That's a monster ball crushed and nearly a home run. talk things over again take another look and definitely was a bang bang play So runner on second. Number four at the plate. Caroline Zeeland. He's going to pinch hit. Two balls and a strike. Strike two. It's two and two. to walk. Yeah. 
Juliet Lewis. So Sealander moves forward. Here's Juliet Lewis, struck out swinging in her first plate appearance. A walk to first, and there's two on and one out. No one. That one just hit the outside corner. And it evens the count at Owen, excuse me, it makes the count 0 and 2. will both move up. They're now at second and third. As that one gets behind the catcher Ballard. Just one away in a 5 nothing ball game with the Senators trying to tack on maybe two more here. Ron lifted into left field. Wood has it. Throw. Play at the plate. And she's out. Odin trying to get the extra bag. Well, they're going to say she just got in under the tag, apparently. No, that is. That retires the side. Took him a while to figure it out. That is the third out of the inning. And so the Senators go quietly. They're in the bottom of the fourth. Five to nothing. Washington Senators are on top. Attention to the teams playing in our next game at 4.45. Please have a representative Bring your lineup card to the scorekeeper at this time so we get the game started promptly. Once again, teams playing at 445. Lineup card to the scorekeeper. Thank you. Pitching for the Senators, number four, Caroline Sealander. And at the plate for the Riptide, number nine, Mary Monte. Mary Monte leads things off as we begin action here in the fifth. Georgia Riptide, the D.C. Senators. Yeah. 
One and one. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. Full count, inside pitch taken, and she swings right through it. And that's out number one. 31, Lauren Worthen. Here's Lauren Worthen. Four forty-five. Our next game: Case Batbusters and the Thunderbirds. We'll have for you next. Will be a thrilling conclusion to our quadruple header on a just absolutely perfect Monday afternoon. Here's the 0 1. And if he's down on strikes for out number two. So, Worthen retired. Here's Law. Big lead for the Riptide. Pitcher first time up. Draws a walk. Number 12, KP Kilpatrick. So Kilpatrick at the plate. Taking a strike, trying to start a two-out rally here.
And it's 0 and 2. Did you find it all right, Coach? Upstairs. One ball and two strikes. Scott on strikes to retire the side, so we head to the bottom of the fifth. Three strikeouts in that inning for the Senators, who lead it by five runs. You're good. But I said if we got rain, it would be. Getting off the bottom of the fifth, number 21, Julia Reed. If there was a rain delay, we would be here a long time. Bottom of the fifth, Jenny Abdel leading things off. <sighs> To right and just out of the reach of Peterson, a leadoff double. Number eight, Andy Peterson. So that'll bring up Peterson. Ballard, runner on her way to third, and she has a stolen base. up and caught by second baseman Bauer who has it for out number two. All right, excuse me, out number one. 13, Emily Hall. 
So one away, and here's Emily Hall. First pitch, ball one. Two balls and no strikes. And to the left, caught two away. called as Kendra Hose comes to the plate. One for two, a run scored and a double. Our third base cameraman, Matt O'Hara, getting a little artistic down there with a nice shot of the clouds. Wanted to make sure you got a chance to look at this gorgeous summer afternoon in Central Florida. It's 2-0. Oh. Excuse me, three balls and no strikes. corners and that brings up Riella Taylor who has two runs batted in 33 McKeeley Matthews excuse me they're going to have Matthews hit in the place of Taylor check the runner back to first Taking the entire way, she takes a strike. That'll work the count full. Back 
back to the pitcher, over to first, and Law pulls it in to make the play, and that's the inning. Two runs in the first, three in the third. The Senators lead it five to nothing. For the Senators, 15, Tiffany Harvell. Portman. He's at the plate. Leading things off. And two. Pop down. Foul territory. He's down on strikes and is one away. bring up uh, Trotman to the plate. <laughs> to the pitcher, to first, and there's two outs. Jennifer Wood. Now here's Jennifer Wood.
one. And he's foul back. Washington Senators looking for a 5-0 victory today. And the full time. Got her swing, off speed strikeout. That retires the side. And that should do it for the ball game. Five to nothing, our final score. The Washington Senators That's a ball victorious. Game. Final score. Erica is headed down to get an interview. The Georgia Riptide nothing. And we will have the fourth game for you right after this. Best of luck, the rest of the tournament. I mean, that way, at least uh, you, sh you should get right in front of the rise game thing, and then I'll do that. That's what I play. I can't You can't do anything wrong. You, you
gas is the first we've heard of you. Hey, uh, do I put it on input two, on channel two or channel one? On channel one. On both of them. Erica is down on the field, standing by with the winners in this fall game. We are getting ready to check in with her momentarily. Trying to track down our winners. Testing, one, two, three. And there she is, Erica is with us, down on the field. Good. And let's okay. check in with our winners. Erica? Okay. I'm standing here with Jenna Dunn of the Senators. Jenna, you pitched through four innings and didn't allow any runs. Do you think your team's early lead helped settle you down? Yes, I think definitely. Um, now I think we see it as the first seed, and so the fact that we've won like the last – other two games before this one, I think that really helped instill my confidence and helped me pitch a better game. And also, you had four strikeouts. Was there any specific pitch you felt more comfortable with today? Um, I think my drop ball, but I also think my fastball was also dropping off, so that was really helpful in, in striking out batters. And you said you guys have been undefeated in this series. Do you think that will continue on after today's win? I hope so. If we keep playing like we do, I think, yes, definitely. Well, good luck. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Erica, downstairs. Stay with us. About 10, 15 minutes from now, we'll have our final game here on the field. 